So-called liar loans are back in the news, that is, loans where borrowers fudge their income and or expenses in order to make it easier for them to get a loan, or to get a bigger loan. Investment bank UBS has recently conducted a survey of 903 Australian borrowers and found that 37% admitted to not being entirely honest in their loan application. This is up from 32% last year, despite banks having imposed tougher lending standards on applicants since the establishment of the bank Banking Royal Commission, which was held over the last couple of years. UBS analyst Jonathan Mott commented, Since the Royal Commission was announced, the banks have significantly increased their level of verification. More questions are asked and more documentation is being requested. We had expected this to lead to an increase in the accuracy of mortgage applications. Unfortunately, this was not the case. A record 20% of respondents exaggerated how much they earn, 33% of which inflated their income by up to 24%, while 11% inflated their income by 35% or more. 23% of respondents understated their debts, 34% underreported their living expenses, and 23% admitted to lying in more than one question. When it comes to which banks had the most number of customers who lied, 42% of ANZ customers admitted to lying, 39% for the Commonwealth Bank, 34% for NAB, and 33% of Westpac customers admitted to stretching the truth. It was also found that 48% of respondents who dealt with a mortgage broker said that they were recommended by the broker to lie on their application. WTF. Apparently, lying is a very common occurrence in the financial sector in Australia. The survey found that the biggest percentage of liar loans were from people who had already had at least two previous mortgage applications rejected, with 76% of them admitting to not being entirely honest during their most recent mortgage application. Mr Mott spoke of the effectiveness, or lack thereof, of recent changes to lending standards. He said, While asking increasingly detailed questions appears prudent, it does not appear to be effective as many factually inaccurate mortgages are still working their way through the process. Property analyst Martin North had a similar sentiment. He told the ABC's World Today, Of course, as you go down into more detail, the chances of being inaccurate also increases. Essentially, you collect more information, but less good information. I think we are actually laying another trap, and we are building another property bubble. We have the highest indebted households in the world. We have the highest home prices relative to income pretty much anywhere. We haven't learnt the lesson. And that's the key point. Liar loans are simply a symptom of a greater issue. Australians are already over-indebted by world standards, but banks need profits and are willing to do almost anything to get them. House prices are being kept high by cutting interest rates and making debt cheap. Consequently, due to an overinflated housing market, people are being forced to do what they can to get a loan, and if they have to tell the odd lie here and there, well clearly, many people are willing to do so. Unfortunately for Australia, high household debt leaves householders vulnerable to an outside shock. If unemployment was to suddenly rise, this whole house of cards will almost certainly come crashing down.